Ba weep grana weep and ninny bong and welcome back to my channel and today we'll be checking out new age going metal with hound yolo park show off their rise of the beasts prime we see is idw megatron gonna give good head and then finally i was wrong about robo sen grimlock all this and much much more coming up in the next few minutes and now the news, don't touch that dial. Who disrupts my coronation? This weekend over in my fantasy island where I live, we had a silly hat ceremony where unfortunately during the ceremony we didn't see Galvatron, which is very, very disappointing. I thought the best I could get out of this weekend would have been an appearance from Galvatron. This is bad comedy. But there were at least a few good memes that came out of it. Moving on then with the Transformers news, if you are in the market for a new age sound wave, then this limited edition version is now up as a pre-order on Show Z right now if you want to go over and bag this bad boy. Beast Boxes, who I often like to talk about on this channel, are going to be releasing this owl? Beast Boxes, if you don't know, they're like modern day versions of Rock Lords. They have quite an interesting bot mode, I guess. But the alt mode is always a box. Essentially, a rock. Like a Rock Lord. And then that box goes into another box. They didn't give us a picture of the box that goes into another box on this. But I'm guessing it's a pink box. Next up. It's Dr. Wu! Dr. Wu! So, Dr. Wu is back, and Dr. Wu is showing us a lot of figures that they have coming. First of all, we have this Nemesis Pathfinder. I'm not sure exactly why this is black and silver, but it looks pretty damn good. Is it Darth Pathfinder? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments why this one's black. Was he black? in g2 because certainly this one is definitely from g2 and this is an awesome looking version of sandstorm really really like this as always with dr woo these commas are twin packs so this will be a twin pack with some rather spiffing box art here as well pathfinder and sandstorm here they are together as a lovely little couple very nice, they're doing a lot of these different colorways, especially of the Coneheads and Cosmos at the moment as well. But of course, there's other reissues that they're doing as well, and they're Prime Commander. So this is from the Doctor Wu Extreme Warfare. They are going to be releasing an Evangelion version of this. Evangelion, Evangelion, I always get confused on how you're going to do it. But I love the fact that down the side of the truck here, they've got the Eva sign on the side of it. I really liked it. I love this version of Prime. I always think it looks pretty cool. And it's really interesting that this has kind of stood the test of time, really. I think this was a one-off that they did. But everybody keeps reissuing and reissuing and then fourth parties and third parties keep continuing it. It's really cool. I really wish they did some kind of anime around it as well or a manga. And then we also get a green prime. Now, you're going to have to help me out a little bit here. Is this just a callback to the one that they did with a bathing ape? Or... Is there a specific Prime that I've completely forgotten about that is green and brown? Because I can't think of a green and brown Prime other than a bathing ape. It has been a very long weekend and I might be misremembering things. But the only one I can think of is the bathing ape crossover. Let me know down in the comments, why is he green? Speaking of green, New Age are going to be coming with Hound. And this is going to be their metallic version of Hound, of course. Whenever New Age release anything, there is always multiple colorways and multiple versions of the figure. And this, in the metallic form, looks really nice. I still don't like the arms. Yes, I know. It's cartoon accurate, so for those of you who want things to be G1 animated accurate, I'm sure you are absolutely loving this one and lapping it up. For me, I like my bots to just be aesthetically pleasing. Never liked the arms of Hound. Don't like the arms of Hound here. Still don't like the arms on Hound. I would like to see them higher. However, 
Let me know what else you think they might be turning this into. There's always some kind of secret character that we get. Who do you think they might turn Hound into in the future? What's the extra character we're going to get with this one? That could be an interesting conversation. They are also gearing up to release a couple of different versions here of Power Glide. So there is this Shattered Glass take on Power Glide here, and there's also this one that's based around a G.I. Joe. And I love the artwork on the G.I. Joe one. The other one, I can really take or leave. I'm not that happy about the other one because I think it's just been a little bit lazy. Moving over to the world of Robosen, and Robosen are releasing an interactive, non-transforming Optimus Prime based on the Rise of the Beasts look. And we now see that he's going to come with weapons and a matrix in his chest. So they keep releasing these little teaser images, and we now see he's going to come with some weapons, including that massive axe. Gotta love it. Unfortunately, though, this one doesn't transform. Staying with the team at Robosen, on Saturday we spoke about, or Sunday, probably Sunday, we spoke about this bad boy right here, this Grimlock, and I had a little bit of a rant. I had a little bit of a rant saying what's the point in releasing these figures, they were super interesting when they were all transforming, because they did with the original Prime, but they released Bumblebee and the version of Prime that we've both been speaking about there, but they weren't transforming. So I was like, what is the point in Robosen going forward? Since then, and thank you to the members of this community who posted it down in the comments and diverted me to other websites that had been showing that we now have the Destructions. It's been a while since I've talked, spoke about the Destructions on this channel, but we have the Destructions for this figure and it does talk about the fact that it's going to transform. So, I was wrong. It is actually going to transform. So thank you very much to those who posted down in the comments and led me to the right article. So hopefully that means that in the future we will get some images of the alt mode and what better time than May the 16th when Hasbro will be having a bit of a YouTube live stream where it looks like Robosen is going to be a big focus looking forward to that maybe we'll see a few more bots in the future transforming from them yolo park have been showing off a few images as well of their amk series and this is gonna be their prime based on the prime that we are getting from rise of the beasts now this one doesn't transform i know that I know that for a fact that this one will not transform. And I think compared to a lot of their other figures as well, I actually think this is on the cheaper side. I will have to take a look at that, but I do think this is going to end up on the cheaper side because it does look like it's detailed but not as detailed as the usual stuff that we see it's going to be 20 centimeters tall and it is a model kit rather than a pre-formed kit and we also got some images of the yolo park from bumblebee and yolo park's version of optimus primal so like i said these are going to be kits and the pricing currently up on show z for these is around 44.99 so yeah definitely cheaper than the usual yolo park stuff when we see it um puts it at a similar actually a cheaper price than the model kits we even see from the likes of flame toys so if you are interested in picking up transformers model kits these could be a good option for you this week we also got some of the concept images shared of nemesis so how they were going to look and there's even this image here where he looks a little bit more like he's from the animated series and a bit more hunched back um some of these images are okay the animated version actually i think looks a little bit better than than what we got certainly the alt mode um looks a lot thinner i do not agree with those people who are saying that it is g1 accurate and people saying that it is um you know a good looking alt mode i i just strongly strongly disagree what we've got here in my opinion is not great um i think they could have done a lot better we can see though that it is a lot bigger than what we got with the arc so that's nice i guess i guess people are going to have a big difference of opinion on this i have some people down in the comments saying that i'm completely wrong and other people saying yep yeah, you're right i'm not getting it either Everybody will have their opinion on this figure. My figure is this my figure. My opinion is that this did not meet 
where I would expect it. The arc is, in my opinion, pretty G1 accurate. I do not believe that the alt mode for this figure is G1 accurate at all. At all. It's got a bad ass. We also got a pretty good look at the IDW inspired Megatron. And yeah, it's the Siege Tank. So before, I wasn't sure because we only saw the back of it. I wasn't sure if it was going to be Siege or if it was the Earthrise tank that we were getting. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is in fact the Siege Tank. Yeah. Looks, looks okay. I, I, I like the color. I like the way that they have put those yellow stickers on the front. Um, do I like the alt mode? No, I, I don't like the alt mode. I, I think the alt mode's a little bit lazy. Um, I'd have, I, I've, I really like this version of Megatron in the IDW comics. I really wish that Hasbro had put a little bit more effort in on this one. Because for me, will I pick it up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I just I just wish they put more effort in, especially into that alt mode. There's so much you could have done here. Hasbro just wanted to get the most out of that siege mold, right? As much as possible. Rise of the Beasts is literally around the corner, and we got some new artwork here that has the bots and then another picture of the bots doing something in the picture um so what we got is wheeljack with his wheeljack mode we got bumblebee in a bit of a battle there with nightbird and uh, then we also got rc riding wheeljack who were misses and then prime in a battle with scourge then we see optimus primal with scorponok and then finally jazz in a bit of a race with itself jazz exactly jazz so that is everything from me on this transformers tuesday a little bit later today but i got there in the end thanks to everyone for all the support if you're new around here think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe and i'll see you in my next video all right see you in a bit Peace. <laughs>